Hey guys, today uh, I uh, want to show uh, to you what I did with my Commodore 64 power supply. Um, you can use this power supply also for the VIC-20. As you know, uh, it supports um, um, 9 volt alternating current and 5 volt DC direct current with 1.5 amps of uh, current. So, you know that these uh, devices are now 30 over 30 years old and they can uh, fail, especially the 5 volt rail here can fail as uh, maybe all of you know. But what I did here, I uh, I um, changed the voltage regulator here inside this uh, power brick. Um, there is a voltage regulator, uh, a linear voltage regulator, and this voltage regulators can fail with with uh, uh, instantaneously. It can fail, and um, you know it can damage your machine, your C C64 or your VIC20. In my recent videos, I showed to you uh, that I create my own uh, switch mode power supplies, uh, voltage regulators, and this is another one. It has uh, now this uh, rectangular shape. It is pin-to-pin uh, -pin compatible with the 7805 uh, uh, voltage regulators, similar inside this one, and. Yeah, I already changed it here inside, so I can turn it and you can see what uh, what's uh, inside uh, this brick. So we have here the um, large transformer inside and this is the heaviest thing in this machine, in this device. And this transformer uh, turns uh, input voltage from 220 volts to 9 volts. So these uh, transformers are really durable and uh, it's, uh, it maybe uh, lasts forever. But what is uh, more critical here is this voltage regulator there. It's uh, inside the epoxy here this black thing and um, the transformer and this uh, voltage regulator the old one is in cupboard uh, with uh, epoxy so I didn't remove it I just let it in I just uh, uh, cut the leads here and yes built my uh, own switch mode voltage regulator inside and I can show to you, I also uh, changed, by the way, also this uh, big um, uh, capacitor here. You can see it's from 83, really old one. So let me turn and I want to show to you, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit uh, clunky, but uh, it works. So. What I did here is I uh, just uh, connect um, the ground, the output, and the input to this um, to this voltage regulator here. You can see here it's it's the same, you know, it's the same one. And yes, now we have a brand new power supply for our C64, and let's see. If um, if it if it is working with my Commodore 64, look a little bit. I can bring it a little bit closer to the camera. You can see. So it's nothing special. So let's see if the if my C64 will work with this device. So here I have my setup now with uh, Commodore 64 and my power brick. What uh, I modified now, as I 
I mentioned before, I have here by the way also the tape card inside, so we can start some games to demonstrate. But let's see of, uh, if it's working. And uh, yes, fingers crossed, guys. So the LED is, uh, is on. And nice. Let's go inside the menu of the tape card. And let's just start again. So here we are. This is a menu. I can go up and down in this menu and just choose this folder here. And I have here a lot of games, as you see. Yeah, perfect. Giana Sisters. Let's start with Giana Sisters. And look how fast it will load up. Yes. So, thank you for watching, guys. As you can see, I modified my uh, power brick, and um, now it's working. Yes will be more durable and uh, I will be safe <laughs> thank you for watching guys and uh, see you next time <laughs>